First of all, welcome you to the exhibition opening of Yarnworth Spinning. It's lovely to see all you all here today. Um, and I just really wanted to extend um, our thanks here at the Great Tapestry of Scotland to uh, the funders who made it possible, so being part of the, the community funds for the Year of Stories 2022, and to Gala Shields Heartlands of the Borders who support this. Um, and I also really want to thank Harriet Watt, University School of Textile and Design, and all the students who have produced this amazing work um, and who really kind of demonstrate so clearly the power of storytelling beyond words, through process, through the visual, and I think have made a really engaging and beautiful um, exhibition. And also along with our exhibition winners for the Gala Garments com uh, School Arts Competition. So I hope you take time to go round and enjoy it. We're open until the um, 17th of July. And hopefully this kind of, we were really wanting in this exhibition to think about you know, the power of stories to connect people in place, to reflect upon how specifically Gala Shields and the Scottish Borders textile heritage continues to inspire and innovate. And also how we, sort of stories are always universal. They connect us to various different people and places and bring us sort of interesting new sight lines and new connections and I think that this exhibition really lovely does that and for thinking about the ways in which sort of textiles um, have shaped the borders and how people in place have very much inspired the textile heritage and the continuing textile industry and design here in Gala Shields and the Scottish Borders. So thank you everybody for coming along and thank you everybody who was involved. It's been a wonderful project for us here at the Great Tapestry of Scotland. So enjoy. Thank you. Being involved in a yarn worth spinning is a fantastic experience. Um, it really brought to light um, the different talents uh, that are around in the borders and um, how easily it is to be inspired by a place such as this. Well, I think it's, um, it's particularly important to focus and highlight on the future of textiles and um, how important it's going to be to be sustainable as we move forward. So I think that part of the exhibition where we're highlighting ways to um, reuse waste um, and renew textiles is, is very important. So I think it's important to highlight the kind of the historical
innovation that happened in Scotland and in particular the Scottish borders and how our students are taking that forward now into their contemporary practices um, considering topics such as sustainability, um, place, community, well-being, all of these kind of things that were maybe thought about previously but we're now really kind of amping up and, and really interested in how we can take that forward. I think it's very important because there is uh, loads of history um, and uh, to share within within the community and I think it's um, telling these stories so that people feel part of the legacy and brings the community together. I feel like it's really good to show that Gala Shields and like the Borders heritage like is really still shown throughout like textile designers work now so it's really inspiring like to see what kind of like goes on around the textiles in the borders and kind of just show that for your work. So obviously Galashiels is such a rich textile history and I think that because of its history it's important that the new designers coming into um, the industry kind of can amplify that as well and kind of bring their own take on it and kind of keep the traditions going, keep the kind of work and design just kind of fresh here. So I grew up in the north of Scotland where I did a lot of hill walking so since a really young age I've been interested in all of these nature aspects and like finding all these um, natural textures and colours and everything like that's just what I've been focused on so by moving to somewhere that's quite similar with their hills and everything I obviously resonated with that and wanting to explore that aspect a lot um, and take the whole biophilic element of the outdoors inside through more than just my illustration um, so with the materials I use as well um, which I think is what I show. <laughs> well, it's been a fantastic um, opportunity for us to build a partnership with Heriwatt University School of Textile and Design. It's been a great way to offer a free exhibition at the beginning of the summer for everybody to come to visit to, to get people into the centre, to engaging with us and to see that we are about telling lots of stories and about also being a place where people can share their stories. So it's really about building those connections and those relationships with the local community that as a new centre is just so vital for the sustainability of our centre and hopefully the wider regeneration of the area. The fact that everything here is drawn from inspiration from the local area um, it's really nice that students are focused on gala shields and the themes of gala shields. And I'm just so amazed that I'm here in this amazing place because I've loved the tapestry. I'm in a craft group, but I really need to learn a lot more. And seeing the work of these young people is just breathtaking, fabulous. The exhibition is so inspiring that I'm thinking it's never too late to learn something new.